Charger Daytona the tire SRT. Noise. That was the new one, right? That's the new one that just debuted. Okay, yeah. That's the, and that's the one that I had. Uh, I can't remember who was at the at the debut, but what was wild was they pipe in the sound, and the sound isn't even relative to the motion of the vehicle. You know, it's like it's <laughs> yeah. Rah, yeah. It's got, so it's it just a load. soundtrack. Is this the soundtrack that they dubbed in? Hey, welcome to Car Guy Confessions, brought to you by ARP. I'm Jeff Smith. This is my car buddy, Cam Benzie, and car builder, Steve Strope. And we're going to tell you some stories. Welcome to another car episode. No, no. no. <laughs> well, it could be a car could episode. Be a car. So they, yeah. 42 minutes left on <laughs> that card. <laughs> uh, oh, my head hurts. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Marker. Right. Try again. Try again. Right. Welcome to another episode of Car Guy Confessions with Jeff Smith, Steve Strope, Me. my buddy That's Steve it. Strope, and Cam Benti, my good friend Cam Benti. We're here. We're here another to round table. Tell you yes. some stories and and fabricate some things. You bet. Yeah. yeah, yeah auto fabrication and other lies, That's which is what we were going to call this show. We're which here is to talk tr about truly, truly fits. <laughs> things that are yeah. Gonna yeah. truly fits. Yeah. Yeah. Be well, I, got, I got something to lead off with. Something Please. that was in the news. Lead off. Lead off. Yeah. Lead off. Throw that so, 90 mile an hour fastball right. at me. You just Please gotta get don't. on base. You the state of California, base. in its infinite wisdom, yes. they're pretty infinite. Yeah, well, yes, with lots of infinity there yeah. to plug in. It's like a squish. Has, has actually passed it. They, I think they passed this, didn't they? Uh, I believe they did. Yes. Um, that so says that in 2035, yes. they're gonna ban the sale. Of all internal combustion engines, mm. new new cars, new, new cars, cars, new cars. Yes, yes, new cars. But I, but I, I should but put I, that in there. Yes. But I have I have an interesting part. If you read all the details, it was which I read some of it because I read there. But they are going to allow uh, plug-in hybrids that get 50 miles on a, a charge, oh. which basically kind of negates a lot of it. Which is also <laughs> the way that you get the trucks in because mm -hmm. the trucks could have internal combustion engines as long as they have a battery pack that'll right, get battery pack, 50. Yeah. 50 miles, but, but it, and, and, and I, I'm and with you, I'm with you. 2035, it's, it's really, but it's actually starting to ramp up in like two years. Right. But it's and, really, and there's a percentage increase. And then at the end, by 2035, right. no more sales of internal, of pure internal new, combustion new, engines, new, new, cars, new cars. cars. Yes. But, but right, and then and you right. know what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. You know, we talked about this today, and right? We did. Yeah. And this is my take on it, but I want to go on public record as stating this. This is just the beginning. And, and there are other states that are already talking about the fact that other states are calling, following along on California's lead. Of course right? they are. Like, like and, the and Act in 1970. I have a fundamental problem with this because you're dictating to the public what they are going to buy. No, you don't do that. You let the public dictate to them what they want, and then the manufacturers make it. And then but I the, said, Yavol, comrade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, But this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the beginning of this insidious movement that's going to happen here. And I sound like, oh, I don't know, I'm somebody on Fox conspiracy News. Conspiracy theorist. But, yeah, I know. but... but but this I yeah, is we're just not, we're because not the railing next thing, against the electric car here. No, no, we're no. We're railing against the government saying this is this what is you're, what gonna you're do, going to do. And this right. is what you're not right. going to do. Right. Correct. And that, no. Correct. We should be allowed to make that decision for ourselves. Yes. But the point is that I can tell you what the state of California is going to do next. The first thing they're going to do now that this is enacted. They'll start the, jacking up the gasoline taxes. The gasoline taxes because it's just like tobacco, right? right. They'll push and, them and, out. and, you know, and, and when they did this, I, I didn't care because I'm not a smoker. So it's like, well, yeah, these idiots that are smoking smoking cigarettes, make them pay more because it's dumb, right? And right. you're going to live longer if you don't smoke. Kill them. So they're going to tax internal combustion engines. So they're just going to run the gasoline tax up under the guise of road use taxes in order to rebuild the roads. No, no, that's not what it was about. It's in an effort to make it so expensive that you won't want to buy an internal combustion engine. The next step will be, and, and they've already done this a couple of times, and they're going to keep doing it, is they're going to run up the the, the, the value of, of registration. They're going to charge you more to, to, to register so Probably the point true. where you now, won't be again, able to register. So no register. one starts freaking out. This is our. That's our interpretation. Guess is what this is our interpretation of what's going no on. No one's doing this but I can, yet. I can tell you. I you know it's no secret. I've moved from Southern California. I don't live, not here right. at the undisclosed location, but I don't yeah. live in Southern California anymore. I live in Iowa. I can register three of my muscle cars for what it costs me to, med to register one of those cars in you California. Bet. Now, what makes it so much more valuable? Well, it's it, it, so it, essentially there's a message there. It's the we same back in New York. It, yeah. You could have a Lamborghini and you could have a Yugo. It's like 
way back, you know, when I was a kid, 25 bucks for your registration. Yeah. yeah. But out here, they're like, well, if you can afford a Lamborghini, then we should make you pay us more. Yeah, not exactly. that the Lamborghini you should you should, you should pay more. The not going to wear out the roads faster. In no, fact, the Lamborghini is no. going to come out twice a year. Yeah, correct. Yeah. That's the funny part about exactly. how they how they were able to exactly. sell that to the general public without a public uprising. Yeah, because that was before I ever lived out here. Blew me away. Well, I, so, I, and, I, and, I would and think it, they would be picketing and like. Pitch they should be. They should be. Torches well, whenever that understand. rule yeah. got yeah. Well, put people, out. People don't understand what's going on. And, and you're right. I mean, the, the, the biggest thing that I'm going to see, that I see that's the, the whole stop on this deal is we do not have the infrastructure. You know, we've been through this summer a whole situation of talking about brownouts and blackouts. We, we were. How are we going to power up all? I mean, in fact, they told people not to plug in. Not to plug the, in your between electric car. Four and nine. Because you we can't. Plug in your car. Because we can't supply the the electrical needs. Not to kill the. Gl- but yeah, make sure you go right we were we were we were recording last night, and got a message like those Amber Alert oh, style phone, messages yeah, on, on the, the phone, phone that said. Right. Oh my God! You know, conserve energy. Conserve energy. Yeah. At the same time that we're telling you, they they are right. telling you to buy an electric like, car. It's right. like one hand doesn't know what the other hand what's, is doing. It's you know, very, where's very the simple. logic here? Right. There is no logic. Got, to it. Yeah. got another uh, one tonight you know. well, because because there's a heat wave going on yes. around our undisclosed location yeah. that's right. in Southern California. Right. Here that here is here. a serious deal. It's quite and nice here. It is quite nice. Here. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's even better in Iowa. It's 30 uh, degrees cooler. It? And it? I, it's in the mid 80s, it? dude. It's but, wonderful. But, but I want to know where you plug in your car in Iowa. You like pull uh, up a ki- piece we, of corn we, and like well, we, we, we kickstart the, the, the windmill, too. And the windmill <laughs> generates a, a right, generator you, and you plug it in go. that way. Absolutely. There There's so, nothing wrong with that. So it's some problem, of the big Iowa squirrels to go on it. Uh, it's not the squirrels that we have to be afraid of. You know what I'm afraid of? You know what I'm afraid of out there is the deer. Oh yeah, I bet. I see. I live in a rural area now, where I have to drive 18 miles to the closest gas station. (laughs) See, none of this, (laughs) none of this even blips me because I'm from a town that like has like eight people. Yeah, from upstate New York. My town has about 90. Yeah, we we have deer in our front lawn and all that. And and especially at night, the main road to come back into town. There's two of them. There's Mm -hmm. actually. Four of them, actually. Right. Ooh, but the roads. two that I use, the two paved roads that I use. I have one they, road. They cross. They cross. <laughs> they the cross. <laughs> and, and one of them is called Deer Run Road. Well, it's there for a reason. Appropriately. And right. so yeah. the last time I came home from a show driving my El Camino, it's 55 mile an hour, rolling hills like this. Dude, I'm doing like 30 because I'm just abject terror that some deer is going to try and do suicide yeah. into my El Camino. So it. that's All the downside. All they're joining is this for the sorority. They're just... They're, yeah, you know, they yeah. Got a, they got a thing but they're they out there. Do. Bambi's out there, man. You know. So, yeah, I know. So that's but that's the me. danger part. You but, know. But, so. there, but there is no infrastructure to handle this, and that's where no. if you're talking about the money no. from the registrations no. and from gas tax. What is that? A deer whistle. A deer oh, yeah. whistle. <laughs> well, what right. I need, actually, what my son told me he says, "Well, Dad, I, I think you're probably okay because they the car is loud. Good, by they the way. hear you I coming. Had them on all my it's, cars. The, it's the it's the it's the quiet cars are the ones that they they get snuck up on. So, and then they just they only do the deer in the headlight thing. I was like, whoop, and then. Boom. You know, I've had so. them stand in the road. Like, oh, yeah, they winter do. time, I'm coming back from a gig when yeah. the band was yeah. traveling and playing. Yeah. And I'd be coming yeah. through the, because my parents' house are like five miles from the Pennsylvania border. <laughs> Pennsylvania. There you go. <laughs> and um, I remember that. I hey, remember you're from that. there. I'm from there. You're from that. You I'll can bust that. its ass all day long. So, yeah. Is that the all way New Yorkers feel? Yeah. Is that the way New Yorkers feel about Pennsylvania? I, I'm not at liberty to comment on that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm driving through the woods in my Carmen Ghia yeah, on right. shaved race tires. Nice. Ah, Yahoo. Nice. Hey, deer in the road. Yeah. I see them ahead of time. Right. right. Slow down. Slow you down. Know, did you do the antler dance? Pull up. <laughs> 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 no, I honk the horn. And they, you know what? <laughs> I'm almost terrified to ask you what the, <laughs> yeah. what the antler, antler dance, dance That's is. That's when you drive around them. Oh, <laughs> oh I, was, I wanted an example of it. It was like... <laughs> I was almost concerned. Did so like anyway, the, they like nothing the, up my sleeve. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we worked in a, a bullicle that reference. Message. That's this not message. really normal. That's a, that's a Think pretty good point for that. <laughs> wow. I think it's seven and a half. Like, Jesus. 
<laughs> Lovely plumage. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah, man, somehow we stuff. We've, we've classic stuff. Shaw shank that in the show. Yeah, oh absolutely. boy. Oh, absolutely no. wonderful. Remember, remember on Sunset, right yeah. down the street, there yeah. was the there was the Jay Ward. Jay Ward's Enterprises yes. and Rocky and Bullwinkle, yeah. full size. I wonder if they're still statue. there. No, it's gone. It's, it's all gone. gone. Yeah, Pretty Rocky sure. and Bullwinkle out there. He was he was holding Rocky like this. It was wonderful. It was yeah, wild. I was like, it was there. You know, I, I never stopped in. I should have. You know, those, maybe could buy a T-shirt or something. Those were so far ahead of just oh boy, oh boy. You know, <laughs> can I finish my deer story? <laughs> antlers in the treetop, or who goose the moose? You didn't do the antler dance. No, I did not do <laughs> the antler dance. I, I, there you go. I laid on the horn. I hit the high beam, low beams. I, gr- and, I and, grew and up he, around big deer, so and they just stood, stood there and defied you. A, like, right. I don't have complete to, defiance. I don't have to. One move. just walked at yeah. me. Yeah, just like walked over to Carmen. It's gonna be a long night, <laughs> right. long, long night. So I just put it in gear and just. Yeah. There you it did is. the antler dance. That's it. No, I just kind of drove slowly, straightly, and they just, you know, red did you sea nudge him a little bit? No, right. no, didn't they have moved, to, huh? but they certainly didn't run off. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. These guys are, yeah. And then we were down in in uh, Missouri recently to buy a little S10 for my son. Oh yes, and, the four uh, cylinder. And they were commenting on how much bigger the deer are in Iowa than they are in in really? Missouri. So it's like. Really? He goes, yeah. You you feed them you feed them deer, deer deer food or something. I don't know. They're bigger. They're plugins. really yeah. You plug I, them in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Steroids, I guess. I don't know. Something hey, like well, must be all that stock. corn. Must be all that corn they're eating because they do, boy. But, but there but there are uh, where yeah, in my backyard right before I left. You know, about ten o'clock. I'm ready to close up and go upstairs. I turn my computer off and it's like it's yeah. movement out there. And that was the night after the the raccoon came right up to my back door <laughs> and went. What are you doing in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you need to go. It's like, no. What are you I need doing? Little. <laughs> right. Do it over there. The, 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 the raccoon's Tesla ran out of juice. <laughs> Can I plug my Tesla in your backyard? Not here, so, mister. So how many Teslas do you see in a None. month? None. 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 Okay. None. And they're they're rampant out here. I mean, oh. I've, I've stopped counting them. It the, was like I was shocked. They're and rampant any, here any, rampant. because everybody... Needs to jump on, well, yeah, they jump bought, on the bandwagon. They bought into it. Yeah. All of them need to, now, be, and, and to be. I'm fair, about to, to be fair, the electric so. cars they are yeah. less expensive to drive, and so far California has not really figured out how to charge them road use tax. But, and they haven't. And, but, yeah, that's but the, the other funny one. thing. It's like the vehicles yeah. with all the batteries. I, they've got to be heavier. Are they? They well, can probably be. Oh, Come in, can be. We should do it. We should do it. Everybody out find out. Yeah, so, so I can take a look. Our, our, We've our, got our, our crack phalanx, team of knowledgeable guys. Our phalanx guys. Of, of, uh, of researchers will get right on that. That, that's right the, that's the funny that's thing. My guess around 4,000 pounds. Are you on a curb weight yep. on a? Yep. Curb weight on a, on a Tesla. On Model 3 is between 3,600 and 4,800. Oh, 4,800? To 4,250. There you go. That's within range. 3848 to 4250. So yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, but okay. your new BMW or your new. Hey, we'd like to thank our sponsor, ARP bolts.com. We got a fantastic little backdrop here. They make it an outstanding series of bolts, almost anything you would need for engines, chassis, things like that. In fact, we were at lunch today, and a guy asked you about the, the, the bolt on the back of your shirt, and it was, and it was really, and I said, well, it's really about a head bolt. They neck the, 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 the stem down of the bolt on a short, a small block Chevy head bolt, so the clamp load is even across three different head bolt links on a small block Chevy, and uh, you know, so that that's the kind of technology that you get out of so, ARP, and uh, we we've all got stories on all that right, stuff. Well, but, for a uh, translation of what he said, call ARPbolts.com. <laughs> <laughs> but but the message is that you can't get any better than that. No, you so cannot. There nope. you go. Nope. Excellent. And then just check them out at ARP-bolts.com. We'd like to thank our friends at InTheGarageMedia.com. They have three fantastic magazines. They've got Classic Truck Performance. They have Modern Rotting and my favorite, All Chevy Performance, with Nick, my buddy Nick, oh, you're the so editor. Biased. So Correct. yes, of course. Yes. But uh, they're doing print media, which yes. is, uh, of course, our favorite. So in color magazine. and everything. In color and everything, yes. and and you can get your your car on the cover of one of those books, right. which is right. a fun no, that's deal. A lot. Great yeah. tech. Great tech. You, Great tech, written by you, you know, and not always written by me, but yeah. People. Yeah. Not yeah. always written by me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so pick it up and read it. at yes. InTheGarageMedia.com, and uh, they're our friends, and uh, they will thank you. We should not have to be dictated to as to what we're going yeah, to buy and what we're not. Because quite frankly, and, and here's the other part of it, is now having a, pers- a different perspective on life because I have changed my location, is that when I'm driving down the road, literally two-thirds of the vehicle that I pass on the highway 
are uh, trucks. Yeah, figure. And and half of them are pulling something. Mm-hmm. And I actually had a discussion with a gentleman out here. I won't use his, I won't mention his name because I don't want to embarrass him. But I said, you know, it's it's ludicrous. A truck, you know, you can't. It's an electric truck's not going to have any kind of a range. You're talking not about any kind of range to pull a trailer. Elon Musk. No, no, it wasn't him. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, and 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 his comment was, well, who tows with a truck? Uh, and it was like well, everybody the not here. What, what yes, did you just say? Exactly. He goes, who tows with a truck? I said, well, that's what's what you buy for? a truck. Yes. He goes, no, you buy a truck just to look cool. Who said this? Who's, I, 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 he's, 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 he's not a car person. He's not a car person. He's not a car person. He was. He's, he's, he's actually perk? just a non-person. But Very it was much. just an insane he's thing to say. Non-person. Non-person. It was spouting off on us. It was. It was. That's a frightening. It really is. You know what? It really is. There's been a million jokes about the the next statement I'm about to make, but. That's a very California, SoCal, yes, California yes, thing to say. Yes. Well, but and, and then and so I love it here. So where I'm at now is like half of those vehicles on the road are pulling something, big right. trailers, sure, having, sure, pulling sure. heavy duty stuff. You know, stuff. people working, doing things. People working, yeah, yeah and actually using their trucks for what they're intended for. Right. Yeah. And it's like that's not going to work. No, it's just it's not, not an electric work. version. That's talking. not going to work unless you can figure out a way to give them the mileage to be able to pull a fifteen thousand pound trailer. You know, right. a, a distance greater than fifteen miles. Which the, which you know. the new Ford Lightning is not not won't do no yeah. I don't I don't know what the numbers are but no, it's and I think they're got probably really cool closely guarding noises you... coming out through a speaker though oh the, we should talk Dodge. about that the Dodge the talk about that can, the introduction I, on the Dodge I, I know I'm known for the rant or whatever it is I do <laughs> no and that's a capital T gonna, and a capital R I'm just going to keep this simple <laughs> it's stupid and on top it, of it it is misplaced on I top think. of it I'll look at the camera while I say it. You don't get to do that. If you get to save the planet and and be green and do all the things your EV car is going to do by changing the way things are, but it's silent because it's an electric car, that's what you get. You don't get to have the cool vroom vroom. No. Yeah. And clearly, Agreed. at least manufacturing-wise, you think it's important to have vroom vroom to get the people who love... In this case, you, you're right. the elephant, yeah. the Dodge Demons. Right. You think you need it for a, for a sales tactic, right. for, for, a, you know what for it a shiny is? jewel, and it's just like, it, it makes it worse. It's you know what it horrible. is? horrible. You, know what you it is? shouldn't it's be able. It's facetious. Yeah well, yeah, well, it's just a lie. But I can't spell it, that, but I can tell you sure. what it is. But and you don't get because to, in, it's, in my book, two-faced. you don't get to do that. <laughs> you don't get to do that. Yeah, yeah. You, to quote Robin Williams as the genie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Phenomenal cosmic power, itty bitty living space. Save the world. Don't have to pay for gasoline. Quiet as a mouse. Yeah. You don't get cool vroom vroom. Yeah. I get cool vroom vroom. Right. Right. Screw you. Yeah. That's so, that was the just. One that, I, I I mean that yeah. was so insulting. It's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You sound then, like a did, vacuum did, cleaner. Did you say something about the Mustang? Did the same thing? The Mustang did. Mustang too. does it. The, ah. the BMW Tell, does send it. Send your Here's hate the, mail. Yeah. Here's the no. Your vision SS yeah. at AOL.com. No, I, th- I, think, but I think everybody watching I, this is on our I, side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not even a matter of side. You, right. could be a, you could be a car hater and go, well, yeah, why would you make a new try, silent try, EV try and, thing sound and, like pre- an old Try vroom, to vroom pretend car. to be something right. that you're not. Right. That yeah. you're not. Well, that's right. what happened so with the So just own it. You've got your yeah. zero to 60 in one millisecond. So yeah. good for yeah. you. Yeah. And that's it. Own the fact that you're silent as the grave. <laughs> but the the Charger Daytona the SRT, noise. that was the new one, right? That's the new one that just debuted. Okay, yeah. That's the, and that's the one that I had. Uh, I can't remember who was at the at the debut, but what was wild was they pipe in the sound, and the sound isn't even relative to the motion of the vehicle. You know, it's like it's... <laughs> yeah. Rah, yeah. It's got, so it's just a low, soundtrack. Is this the soundtrack that they dubbed in? And I know other vehicles before this, by the way. There's been other cars that right. have been plumbing in noise. BMW was really yeah, good. Yeah, BMW. And so, so yes, the- everyone, I know yeah. this isn't the newest thing. But hey, hey. the big splash Dodge did. Yeah. I was just, it tell was, me you didn't just do that. It was yeah. sad. It and really then what was. was worse, you know what was worse about it? Wasn't that Dodge went and did it. Mm-hmm. It was like, 
all the yes men going, oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh, yeah, and I'm like, man. did you, did they pay really? you to clap and say that's cool? You really don't think that sounded to cool, right? To genuflect to the electric car by, by saying the king's new clothes is, are, yes. you know, are exact, wonderful? Yes, exact same thing. It's I, like, I heard any of you dudes, if you're race. real dudes that go, they, you know. That, that movie, the, the horror movie with the wraith, remember that? That was that crazy, horrible I movie. I vaguely remember right right Yeah, yeah, about. that's it. That was horrible. It mm. looks a lot, it looks like, like that. But... So Not clearly, to, well, I think we've established we don't we don't think that well, was very good. Instead of just <laughs> instead of just razzing on the poor thing, I mean, just boil it down without me losing my cool. It's like, why would you do? That's so horribly fake. Yes. Yeah. Just just own it. Just you're own quiet it. Yeah. Your electric you, your electric car. It's, that's it's all what there it is. is. To it. Yeah. It was. Stop it. So so somebody somewhere, some probably middle manager decided this will be cool, yeah. and and like I said, and, the worst and, thing is the yes men going all right. and that was the fail. Yeah, well, that was the. Well, yeah, got, focus I, group said, well, we need noise. Really? Why? Really? Then get a yeah. V8. Yeah. Well, I got yeah. yeah. a segue to another rant. Or V6. Want another rant? Sure. Another rant? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you me? Oh, you're, you're winding me up you good tonight. I'm going to tee it up. Girl. That's right. The tee it up, man. What is it? BMW. What about it? Which, which thing? <laughs> Licensed <laughs> Oh. Yeah. yeah. Licensed options. Oh. I heard about that. Oh. Well, the, the thing that came down the pike was about the seats. Yes, heated seats. So, do you know about this? You're, no. You're, this is you're, crazy. No. Like, you're this is crazy. So we don't talk this. about BMWs Check in this. Iowa. Because <laughs> we don't got this week now. <laughs> we talk John Deere. Because it, because what kind of car gonna... is that? That's a boomer. A <laughs> uh, boomer, yeah. Um, so, you're a guy, yes. and I need to set it up this way. Yeah. Go you're ahead. a gentleman. That has been buying BMWs. You're a BMW owner. This is fake. This is, you're not a BMW <laughs> owner. Good, thank you. This is fake. <laughs> or you could true. also dress real sloppy and be a spoiled kid from like Palos Verdes that That's got right. a free BMW not, from his mom I, and dad. I'm having more true. trouble with that one. Right. <laughs> but, so anyway, you are a normal buyer. You buy one every three, four, five years okay. or at least one. You're right. used to BMW's list of creases. Right. When the lease is comforts. up. You know, right. And these cars already come loaded. Right, yes. right. Uh, it, stuff, it, stuff you don't even need. Yes. Well, well, some of it's fun. Yeah. But yeah. nevertheless, <laughs> it's what you're used to getting. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Yeah. No crank windows. <laughs> yes. No crank windows. What is uh, this? That went out with the 2002, I think. So... Um, you will buy your new BMW, uh -huh. and your new BMW will have the things you're used to, like your heated seats. Okay. Okay? Okay. It is, there's a heater in that seat. Uh-huh. Inside the computer, there's the controls on your flat screen to run the heated seat. Okay. Right. And they'll be happy about it. Uh, no, 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 no. They will not. You won't be happy about it, because when you buy the BMW... You don't get the heated seats that are in work. it. You have to pay An additional more money license for fee. them to unlock it. Oh, so they're just building all of them in the same way. And if you didn't buy it on the option sheet, then it's you, there, but you can't you use it. You can't That's touch right. it. It's like it's like it's just out of reach. Right. And the thing right. is, ah. what's really insulting is, I mean, if you did that in a in a well, Ford you, Taurus, that'd be one thing. But yeah. the guys, the guys, <laughs> that, the succeed. guys that purchase those cars yeah. are yeah. used to those being standard, right? right. Not paying more for right. it. So this monthly. is this. So, so monthly, monthly. It's, yeah, a it's a monthly. subscription. Yes. Oh, so it's like it's like um, what um, what the software companies did when instead of buying the software, now you have to rent it. Well, well Adobe like the, did that, yeah, which Corvette, was hateful. Right. Yeah. In Corvette, you don't own the software ever. Yep. Right. Well, you, well yes, we've right. talked about that. Yes, we did. Right. You yes. don't you don't own the software they so do. It's not I, yours. I don't know if there's truth to it. You guys can look it up. Somebody was in the office telling me that really? I think it's Chrysler Monthly. is discussing Same in thing. their electric vehicles coming out, you will never own, you will be renting the powertrain. The batteries and electric motor, Isn't they are not yours. Really? They are theirs and you're renting it. Crazy. Mm. Yeah. 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 And, and OnStar right. is mandatory. You have to have it. You have to yeah. have There's it. no yeah. such thing as Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Right. No such well, thing know, of it all. Well, you know what this really, this, what this does is, is this could, this could bite them. You know what's badly. really scary? Though, well, because what will happen is people, I'm going to say, you know, it's like, wait, you're going to force me to rent this the media, heated seat from yeah. you. Right. I'm just not going to buy it's, your car. I'll go buy this other car that doesn't do that, doesn't pull that crap on me. It's not just heated seats. There's other things. Oh, I'm sure there is. Oh, yeah. But, but, the, but the, the capper to this whole deal is that um, 
you're going to continue to add on more and more things. Like on your El Camino, do you have like the uh, special turn on for the turbocharger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You mean just, like, just, in, just, in Mad like in Mad Max? Max we flip the floor, the the floor, floor spinning. That's, Whoa, dude! When that movie came out, we got we got you can right. even do a story on how to make that work, right. and it's yeah. like no, no. <laughs> it's, 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 it already it's, does work. Hollywood did it that, off. you know. Sorry, but you just you know right. you went, you know. Well, it's like, well, why can't you do that? It's like I hate to tell you, but it's always. Not, work. No, it's always you, working. Yeah. It's always working. You don't to, get to turn it off. How do you turn you it a, off? Take cut the belt. The belt. Yeah, cut the belt. <laughs> the belt's belt good. Off. But what's happened is when this story came out about BMW, they got pilloried in the media. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. absolutely. Excellent. Toasted I, over that deal. I'm sure everybody in management so sure thought it up, and, and somebody got a raise because some we're, MBA we're make, said this is going to oh, we'll make bank on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tesla does that. That's right. So we'd like to thank our sponsor, ARP and ARP-Bolts.com. And, uh, I mean, we all three build cars. We all work yeah. on this stuff. And I, I mean, tinker. You tinker. I we, tinker. Yes, we all build. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's, it's kind of a, a really cool multiple-purpose fastener for me because there's all the science and all the technology, which is bottomless. Trust me. Unbelievable amount of research that they put into these sure, things. Sure, Absolutely. And on top of it, you get them out of the, the package, and they're absolutely beautiful, which I've joked before. It's like jewelry for your right. car. And when pre -oil. We're building yeah. a, when we're Yeah, and when we're building a high-end car, it, there isn't anything else going on. It I need, It's part of the criteria for right. me to have them lining the engine bay, not just on the engine, everywhere. Yeah. So right. you get all the strength, the durability, the reliability, and fantastic good looks. Sure. sure. Kind of like Jeff here. And without, yeah. and without peer. Without peer. <laughs> with, and you know what? Or pair. With, with, without peer. There's, no, there's nobody else Correct. that does that what is, do. It is. So check them out at arp-bolts.com, and they can help you out. You know yeah. what it is? Am I? Yeah. Ultimately, Common a, sense is a, gone now. Well, You're really worried I'm, about I'm, the... I'm beginning to wonder. Having well, the phone three days before I have the same <laughs> phone? Let's do a couple of TikToks. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about TikTok. <laughs> I don't... I don't I, All right, you go tick. I'll go talk. Talk, okay, <laughs> tick, talk. Oh, there you go. Hey, thank we you very just much. made a million. All right. <laughs> so, hey, how many people watch that thing? All right. <laughs> that, is, is, is that what it is? There's, there's kids right now going, shut it off. Okay, turn this Shut off. that idiot Who off. Who are these idiots? <laughs> Who are these idiots? <laughs> Did you like it's that one time. there? It's yes, a good time. Talk. <laughs> so, so we were talking earlier. Yes. Talking earlier that apparently, apparently some of our readers think that there should be. We have readers? Oh, well, viewers, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck wondering. in the 70s. Uh, so, maybe you know. there was print versions of this. I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're reading. I don't everything. know what your kids are doing. <laughs> yeah, trans Transcribed trans from trans Hollywood. That's right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Jeff that's Smith it. and a bunch of idiots. Right. Right. <laughs> what they're doing is they're reading the sign. They're reading the sign, and it says <laughs> confessions, and they're going, where are the confessions, right? Oh. So we came up with a question. Oh, well, I'll give you a confession. We came up with a question. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. What's what? the most embarrassing thing you've done with your car? Uh, <laughs> legally? No, I'm not. I no, no, legal is not part of this question. Well, wait, it's not. Well, it has to be embarrassing. I'm never embarrassed when I did that shit. So, I mean, I, well, I was. That was. I was. What, and, you, what did you do? What? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so so we were we were at, we were going to school and, and in my suitcase school which means i i commute to the classes and then drive home and there was a party friday night so we stuck around for the party and went downtown and, and imbibed a little bit legally because we were of age and then drove home at my buddy's apartment decided because i was a little too inebriated to drive home so i was smart and we didn't Good. we didn't, we didn't try and, time yeah there you go and um Next morning, we woke up, you know, and woke up in, in, in on the couch. And first thing I thought was, where are we? <laughs> right? And the next question was, where's my car? <laughs> you know, dude, looked where's up my and, car? Look, dude, where's my car? Were you and, in Kansas? Uh, no, we were in <laughs> Iowa. And uh, luckily, it was not wintertime, but uh -huh. it was chilly. Okay. And looked out the front window, and there was my car parked on the grass nice. in front of the apartment building with both front doors open. Man, there you go. And I was like, good display. That was that was not good. You good know? display. So, good parking. And what's embarrassing? Most embarrassing. Wow. So my so, mother's gone so now, many so things. she'll never hear that story. So many things. <laughs> 
<laughs> so many <laughs> trying to f- perhaps Short flying a Z twenty eight. I did. I flew a Z twenty eight off a cliff. That was <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> I did. Uh, did Which uh, we've told that story, but it'd be worth hearing it again. Oh well, the, uh, I'll tell you one. Huh? We were much. We mentioned Bruce Hampson. Who our, Bruce, our, is a, Bruce is a is, character. You had an interesting. Bruce, Bruce is a character. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce worked is, for you. Bruce worked for me He's for a, a while. He's a friend of mine. And it was. Well, we, it was volatile. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we bought that. Bought the cannonball car. Okay. We bought, we bought a um, Dodge Grand something eighty one eighty two police car from okay. CHP, and you okay. did, and that's when we did the cross country van. Actually, did Van right. Tune actually did the drive cross country. And then we ended up uh, selling it to Dan Aykroyd. That's the whole story. Okay. I told you about that. So we, at that point, we got a taste for buying uh, impound cars, police auction cars. So we mm-hmm. bought this. Uh, we bought this. Uh, it was a uh, Malibu. I guess it would be a Malibu. It's like a 85, 84, 85 Malibu. We did all kinds of stories on it. But the deal was, I had a bunch of cars that are already registered in my name. And then Bruce Hampson goes, "Well, I'll, I'll register it in my name." It was like. Well, okay. And I insured it. So mm-hmm. I did insure it, but it, it was in his name. And what was funny was one day. They allowed they, you to do that? They did. Now, that's uh, because they, they, they won't, won't let under, you do that now. They put it under a kind of an umbrella thing. I don't know how we did it, but anyway. <laughs> Mr. So, umbrella Man? Exactly. Oh, why? <laughs> exactly. But it was so Bruce. So Bruce uh, puts it in his name. So Bruce wants to drive it. So we're driving it. So we ended up doing uh, pumpkin bowling on the freeway where some guy holds out the window. like uh, <laughs> That was kind of embarrassing. Pumpkin but, bowling. But the capper to the whole What story, were the pins? Uh, other cars. The other cars. Other cars. Nice. Yes. Nice. Melon, All right. Melons and stuff. Oh, boy. But, uh, Yikes. We had, we had nothing to do. We had <laughs> Clearly. Nothing, Clearly. nothing at all to do. It was a do. very quiet night. But the capper to the deal is that Bruce <laughs> took the car and like hit it. It's like we couldn't get the car back because we were doing more stories on it. We're doing all this stuff. So he insists on keeping it because it's in his name. Uh-huh. So we had to steal it from him. So we stole it from him. It was parked underneath. He had an apartment complex with his car. Yeah. So we had to steal his own car at like steal three, his car, but three which in the which morning. Really yours. Three in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it was my money. My stupidity. <laughs> but I think I had like seven cars that's, that's at the time. That's kind of like the line from from uh, from Animal House, right? Yeah. You effed up. You yeah, trusted us, that's right? That's it. <laughs> so I don't have any uh, 61 Continentals to work with, but uh, that would have been... That would have been more fun. That's, that's not that embarrassing, but I'm just like the stupidity of car stuff, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. stupid car tricks. Stupid car tricks. That's it. Which there you go. Was I have always a couple fun. of those. Do you have a couple of those? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I please forgive me. I can't remember enough of a story. I would think I would remember if I said it here on this show. Did I tell you guys? Please forgive me about turning the. My local mall into my racetrack. Yes, yes you okay. did. Yeah. I did that. So you, yeah. you that told was, us that, that was story. just fun. It really was embarrassing. Yeah. Even, no, the, no. even the cop's face expression was. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Take it off the helmet. <laughs> really? Uh, I want to be a race car driver. Same car. Same car. Carmen Ghia. I did. Ghia. Yeah. Very low. Carmen Ghia. Hmm. Very low. Yeah. How low? It was low enough. <laughs> Sidewalls were really low. <laughs> low enough. <laughs> to on the highway mm-hmm. dip myself in quickly and out from underneath a tractor trailer. You Whoa. did not do that. Wow. Really? That no. is so insane. Did you have a yeah, really? No. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> And I think I was saying something like that to myself. Probably to myself. So badass, yeah. which is going to go on my tombstone. Yes, that was yes. badass. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't go, f- I didn't go all full, the way, but go I got all. more than halfway underneath wow. the truck. Right. And I, I don't I'm know sure if the trucker me. was happy. I don't with know you. if he saw me because I came from the right side. It was a, a three lane. Okay, and I, I came from this side and just went. <laughs> so I'm sure if I tried it up from the from the from the left side, he probably would, you know. Yeah, because if he or, panicked, or, if he or, panicked and hit oh, the yeah, brakes, oh boy, life would have sucked. Yep. Yes. Yep. Ah. Because well, we, you wouldn't be here now. There'd be I somebody just, else sitting here. I just wanted <laughs> to know if I could. Yeah. Mm. In, well, bad. I've been in the rocking chair. Yes. Yeah, but that, I That's actually a different deal. Underneath. wanted to see if I could. Didn't did some which, movie do you know that what? as a stunt? Christmas of course, vacation. Yeah, yes. I, Fast Chris, and Furious. Well, Christmas. I have to ask because I don't watch those movies because they're beyond, in my opinion, this. Yes, really? they did. Okay, they okay. The they called oh, okay. the rocking chair. Rocking chair. But I didn't okay. think they went underneath. I thought he was no, just... No, they hidden. were behind it. Yes. I went underneath. Yes. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep your speed. It was pretty cool. 
<laughs> Keep your speed up. <laughs> what do you? I, you know, what do you I, want? I, I did it. I did it, and I lived to tell the story. To quote him, you know, kind of bored, not a lot to do. I, I got another one that we did. We did. Uh, I tell the one about the uh, the Ghostbusters car. We did a story in, in uh, popular hot running. Ecto one. Yeah, we, this it's driving home on. Uh, I'm not sure how this uh, Devonshire into Avenue, but... and I look over in this Chinese restaurant, and there is a spitting image of the Ecto one. This is after the first Ghostbusters. The wagon. The, the, the ambulance. The, the ambulance. Right? The ambulance. Yeah. So I look over there. And I was like, "Oh, what the heck is this?" So I pull over, and I'm going like. I don't know how to, you know, who would, I'm not going to go in the restaurant and go find this guy. But yeah. I thought, well, maybe you'll come out. Sure as heck. It wasn't like two minutes later, here comes this guy. And I talked to him and struck up this friendship. It was not, it was not a 59. It was a, like a 66. But so, he was a fan of the movie. And, and he had built the whole built thing. The whole thing he himself. went crazy. I mean, he really did a good job. He even yeah. had the packs, you know, the whole bit. This wow. guy had really wow. got off the rails. <laughs> so we did a story. We did a story on this guy. Otherwise, <laughs> completely normal. <laughs> and he kind of looked like Ackroyd. You know, he had the went jumpsuits. Off the oh, rails. Yeah. So, oh. so he's, he's uh, doing well, the Walter Mitty well, thing well, here, well, right? Capra, yep. So we do the story. So I do the story in Popular Hot Running. We did a, we did a section called Slow Car Busters. So we were putting like oh. big blocks and chevettes and just, just doing this whole thing with this guy's deal just for fun just a spoof thing like the blimp thing you know mm -hmm. and all that so anyway so um that goes down the road it goes about a year and now ghostbusters 2 starts to show up well the guy has figured it out with universal and the universal guys have seen his car uh -huh. they ultimately hire him to do events and such. So it oh worked out great for him, but he Good. did, he did wow. a new car. He did a new car and he did it like the second one, which is slightly different graphics and the whole bit. But, uh, so he shows up with the car and this is a car craft. I'm in car craft. So we're in car craft and I go, well, let's think of some, you know, some other shoot to do with this thing. That's kind of fun. You know, the guys, you know, and it's timely cause it's the movie's coming out. Uh -huh. So I talked to this guy, his name is Peter. And I said, what, uh, what do you want to do? And he goes, well, I can get us on universal. So I went, uh, Really? You okay. can get a universal backlot? Sure. So we pull up to the back, and I've got the second car is full of photographers, and I think, um, I can't remember who's all in there, but another writer and the whole bit. So we pull in, and we go to the back gate, and it's just like in the movie. We pull up, and the guy pulls out the clipboard, and he goes, <laughs> so you're... <laughs> you're not on my list. You're not on my list. And the guy goes... But we have to be on New York Street in the next half hour or we're going to be in shit shape. And the guy goes, <laughs> so we drive on, so we drive so on he, the back so lot. Totally you, baffled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. went to, so we were there for three hours. We have, <laughs> and nobody said anything? No, the carts are going by, you know, the, the tour is going right, by. Right, yeah. Look, ask, look. We're asking to tour. plug stuff in. We're plugging in lights. He had a, he had an eight foot tall inflatable. Uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man guy. Oh my and, God! And I got this inside it. It was the only cool place to be. So I was inside that thing for at least an hour. You know, so, so I did this whole photo shoot. So I go back. So I. So uh, this is before. And the, I quote: "The only cool place <laughs> to be." Exactly. It was cool so hot, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm in the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man guy. So this, this is this is what uh, it said on the uh, you know on the, oh, the work no. application. But anyway, so we do the whole shoot, and we get it back, and the film is. Really nice. I have I have images, so yeah. we can show. Oh, I bet those. you do. Oh my gosh, we got all this stuff. <laughs> so we have proof. We just so, make the story so up. So I come back. And I got the suit. The suit. I got pictures of the suit. You wouldn't even believe. And he, and he even can had you like, please post this while oh, we're talking? Bet. Well, this can guy. You both this guy is, post he's, this. He's literally. He's got one of those. You know the, the he's catcher. Little. The catcher. And he's got the catcher with the doors on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The and, trap. And it's, it's called the trap. The trap. The and trap. he's steaming. He's like holding it up. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this guy was crazy, but Man. the capper to the whole deal is I go back and I talk to Benny, Benny Allen, our, our managing editor. Mm -hmm. she, goes, me. she goes, did you get sign off on this? <laughs> and I said, no. no. She goes, you're going to get in so much trouble. I said, you know what? I don't care. And we ran it. And, and they didn't say anything? Nobody said a word. Probably because somebody, well, somebody got a release somewhere because they wouldn't run this otherwise, right? <laughs> Nobody they probably knows. thought that. Yeah, Everybody that just assumed. Was, there was, but there was no, no release. So, that should just everyone assume. So that's assumed. a confession. That's a confession. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we confess. We were on the back lot for <laughs> three, the, three the, hours. It's the, the one university, the, the universal cops will be here any minute. Yeah, <sighs> they take you away. That was, that was very fun. Very wow. fun. But I love wow. that guy with the clipboard. He's like, I got a feeling that would never happen now. No. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. And cart it away. <laughs> and we were waving to the tour. Yeah, exactly. It's a Bates Motel. The Bates Motel. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was that was a good time. <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> you bet. You bet. Infiltrating the back lot. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, and that that's just like a lot of the photography stuff we did when we were at Peterson. You're supposed to get a permit. Anytime you're out shooting on the streets or whatever, then can we, never, County. we never did. We yeah. never did. You yeah. know, never got caught. Yep. L.A. Yep. County all well, the time. Yep. You do it in L.A. Caught. County and you go. Actually, so one, didn't, one photographer got caught and and it was and he ended up. Who, it, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it was probably but, Randy. No, it wasn't Randy. It was, <laughs> well, it might have been Randy. <laughs> yeah. Randy's always. But Randy was pretty good about permits. He yeah. really did do it the yeah. right thing. The but, right thing. Well, yeah. he had the high dollar stuff. Right. You know, when he's shooting right. for Ford, he's not going to just let it let oh, it yeah. fly. No, they, yeah, yeah. You know, he's gonna he's gonna figure out. But how we're to, out shooting something and in, in just a handhold thing. There's no know, way. Quick, yeah. Knows, we're not gonna get. No minutes. way. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> yeah, that was back in the prop crazy. days when we would go get crazy, crazy props and do yeah. things, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Do, you still, do you still have a Prius? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you, that's, like, that's like asking, when did you stop what? beating your wife? Come on. There's no exactly. good answer to that question. Exactly. <laughs> of course not. For those people, here's, here's, a, here's a news item. Yeah. If you have the second generation Prius, which is like 05. Our to, condolences. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. You are the number one target for catalytic converter theft. Really? And really? Number one. Number one. For the second uh, generation. And you know how much it costs to fix it? Oh, I'm, I'll bet it's um, astronomical. Three grand. Three grand. No, we got. Four, we got no, got, we're, we're getting nine grand. Do, 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 do. That's it. Or forty-five hundred dollars. Put a cat. Uh, uh, wow. Why, why are they stealing yeah. the cat from Priuses? Because <coughs> they've got the most. The most um, precious metals. Precious metals. Because exactly. what you do is you sell that. It's it, they're big. Yes. And there's lots of precious precious metals in them. Easy and for they, you to say. I know it is. <laughs> and, and and so they just go in there with a with a sawzall. A wire, you know, a, a cordless sawzall. I saw something. Zip, zip, I saw. Hey, you pulled a. Ah, oh, yeah, I pulled a you. Yeah. Um, I saw uh, something on uh, one of the feeds, Instagram or Facebook. Somebody, uh, I guess their town was. A lot of people were getting their catalytic converters stolen. stolen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he painted on the catalytic converter. I uh, actually he painted the bottom of the car. Said, "Get a job." <laughs> <laughs> It probably like, wasn't awesome. effective. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told this story. Um, this when I was in college. Confess. Yes. I'm gonna bring so, out the soft psh, cushions. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is this is kind of funny. Shame. So, in, on Saturday morning, my boss from 15 miles away in Boone would hire me to come to the gas station and do all the mechanic work for him. That he because he was got ready to close the station up, so he would save all the mechanical work, and I would come in on Saturday morning at eight o'clock and work until six, just doing all the all his tune-ups and that okay. kind of stuff. So I would have to drive from campus in, in Ames over to Boone. So I'll jump out to my Chevelle sure. at, at seven o'clock in the morning, you know, and get in, fire it up, put that, you know, but it was. Small block car by now because we'd broken the big block. Pop that baby in reverse, go to back up, let's clutch out. Nothing happens. Ring, ring. It's like, uh oh, right? I have no forward gear, no gears. So shut it back off. It's like, it's like ah. no clanking noises, nothing. Look under the car, and somebody had stolen my drive shaft. <laughs> there were the two U bolts laying under the car with the, with the two nuts, the four nuts laying there. They just pulled my drive shaft out. And so then had to call my boss. Are those highly valued with precious metals in them? <laughs> you know, and well, here's the deal. So um, this was back because Iowa is a big circle track, you know, state. Uh, okay. Lots of dirt tracks, right? Well, they were all racing Chevelles at that. This was 1975. And uh, so the Chevelle was the hot body style. And th there was not a drive shaft to be found within a wow. fifty mile radius of Ames. Well, so they the house. except it well in the parking lot for the for the for the for the uh, for the dorm. So they just stole my drive shaft. And uh, so I had to call my boss and say, I, I, I have no way to get to work. Somebody stole my drive shaft. And he says, You know what? I've been I've been in business for fifty years and I gotta tell you, that's a new one. That's I said, I'll 
you know, I'll, I'll take a picture. I'll, I, yeah, I, well, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> process when the, the when film. The, when the film comes I, back I, from the developer. So my, my future, yeah, yeah. My future Roll father-in-law up. finally found one for me 120 miles away. Wow. No, I mean, it took forever. It was another well, that week. that backed up the story right there. Yeah, because you couldn't find them, so they were stealing them. Yeah. That's right. So. Rent, bastard, okay. Chevelle, so, drive back, sap, back, that's back crazy. Theft, thievery. So I, somewhere, someone's laughing right now right i got a theft story for you yeah all right i wasn't there but my friend um, rich sefton who has Your passed friend. away no he's he was my roommate at the time he was a really entertaining guy he's super super mopar guy but he was super really mopar really nice guy. guy really super nice guy he worked on uh, dukes of hazard he was one of the mechanics oh, okay dukes of but before he did the dukes of hazard he worked at universal Okay. And he had moved from Walkerbergy Ford in Santa Monica, where he had been a mechanic, mm-hmm. and he moved over to Universal. So he finally gets in, and it's, it's, it's an act of Congress to try and get into the studios. It's very, very hard. Mm-hmm. So he finally gets in, and so the guy comes up to him. He goes, uh, and he's working nights. He's got to work nights. Okay. You start, start at the you bottom. you got to pay your end. bills. you got to pay your you dues. Start at the bottom. And, but the pay was very good. So he comes in, and the guy says, well, i got a job for you. I was like, well, good. I'm here. To, I'm here to work. Okay. So he, so he comes in, and he walks him around the backside of the main shop. It's a half track. Cool. And he, and he, and he World goes, War II half track. World War II half track, but with rubber, um, rubber on the track, so they could drive it on the street. Okay. They, they put rubber around the outside. Okay. Because they obviously they tear the asphalt up. Yeah. He goes, I need you to change the clutch. <laughs> So, so he so he goes out. I need you to take so he goes out, and they have, they have one inch drive, you know, the impacts. <laughs> Everything's the whole, all heavy all cast iron. Super yeah, heavy. Yeah, this is War II stuff. And he's like, oh, it took him two days, and it wow. was just this whole deal, you know. And you got to do the, you know, the come alongs and the whole bit, and you got to move it over. Oh, and, you know, it's just man. he said it was just this monstrously horrible job. You got to hold the transmission up with doing it by hoist, himself. Doing it by himself. Oh Nobody to help him. Wow. So he comes in, and so he finishes at about. 7 a.m. 8, 8, 8, 8, or 8 was this knockoff do, first do you time. Buy, you buy a new clutch from like Pep Boys yeah, for yeah, a Napa, half track? Napa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a Napa. I, take, I, take, I, have, uh, I have a 1942 <laughs> half track. I need a clutch one. Oh, yeah, I got one right that's, here. That's got right. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take a load of those uh, Christmas trees and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so he takes it. The, air freshener, so, right? The air so, freshener. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need me a case a of fresh pie. And an air freshener. That's, right. That's right. A couple of Slim Jims. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, one of those clutches. That's right. Half track. That's right. Uh, yeah. About old Harper. <laughs> Can you, uh, you I, I lost my ID in a so, flood. Yeah. So, so, so you just start box it. that up and uh, put it in the truck. Right. So he parks it around where, where he picked it up. Parks it around. It's all work. And he tests it. And he parks it. And, and he was a pretty resourceful guy. But anyway, so he parks it in the back. And he's like dog tired. Yeah. So, so he goes home. As soon as he gets home, the boss comes to him and he calls him calls on the phone him. and goes, and he says, did you finish that job? He goes, oh, yeah. He says, yeah. where's the half track? <laughs> oh. It's like, because like, it was a push button started. Bellucci took it home. <laughs> <laughs> they were shooting Animal, animal House. Yeah. He really? drove it up <clears throat> to the top of yeah. the hole in. Oh, God. Really? Yes. That's stellar. That's, that's funny. <laughs> that's stellar. Can you imagine driving along going, that's a World War II after well, well, the, the, ca- the, the capper was he, he, he goes, I don't know. I'll go find it. He comes to work I'll and the guy is it. smiling. The guy is smiling. Is but we found it. Bellucci's got it up at, up at his house on the, on the go on drive the, it back in the Hollywood yeah. Hills. Oh like, no. <laughs> That's a funny story. Yep. And I know, that's you know, awesome. That is that is pretty yeah. cool. Belushi yeah. took it over. They finished. They knocked off from a night shoot. I would have loved to just home. been standing on the corner and watch that just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well I think I think that caps it. Did you like it? I, yes. I, I think I that you know that you you win the prize. No. You get a gold no. star. No. You get a gold star. Gold star. Yeah, a gold star. Ooh. So right. Right in the forehead. Th- this has been a series of non sequiturs, I think is the best way to describe it. I can't even <laughs> say that. <laughs> Blaspheming. <laughs> Was entertaining. Okay, oh, it was fun. Well, least, it was fun. At least for us. My jaw yeah, hurts. Absolutely. My jaw hurts. That, yeah. that was good. Yeah. Your, so your, I look. Your, your jaw hurts when you like go and order something at the at the gas station. I'll take <laughs> I'll take high test. Because <laughs> I can get it. 
And but I don't, I, very, I don't have to pay five dollars a gallon either. But you're a very happy yeah, guy. So I am. Continue I am. to be so. That's right. That's Absolutely. right. So if you like what we're doing here, stick around because we're going to keep doing this. We want to thank our friends at ARP-Bolts.com. I, I didn't trip over that. I did an awesome. Job. I get a gold star. Tell them to hit the like button or the yeah. subscribe and, and button the, and all those all, all those. Do we have things. buttons? Do we have buttons? Tri- oh, we have triggers. buttons. We have buttons. Oh hell yeah! Excellent, yes. right there. Well, click that shit. Yeah. <laughs> And subscribe right. and hit the bell. There Perfect. you go. We have a bell? Oh, we yeah. have a bell. Maybe we should get Taco the Bell to help, went, supply, the to help us up. with we this. Would that? Yeah, that's right. Whoa, Whoa we a got star. star. We got stars. Dude, stars? <laughs> oh, where have I been? I <laughs> Thank you, Paul Rossi. Thank you, Paul Rossi. We now have a... Paul, if you're watching, we oh. have a rule now. We call it the oh. Rossi rule. <laughs> Dude. There'll be none of this. You'll make it... You'll, you'll, this. You made an this. imprint that will last forever. All right, we got to go. Thanks for watching. We're going to continue to tell you stories. So most of the time, all the time, we have a good time here. But uh, on a much more serious note, and just recently we have lost two more of our compatriots, uh, guys in the industry, the automotive industry, automotive journalism industry, and Steve, Steve Stilwell and Pat Ganahl. Uh Steve Stilwell, I didn't personally know, but if if he's the man that coined, coined the term sport truck. Yeah, if, you, and, if you read a truck magazine, yeah, there's truck a pretty, magazine. pretty and so, yeah, truck enthusiast, you pretty much, uh, you know, the man. Sure you, you should know the man's you, name you saw and um, his work. And yes. um, we lost him recently. Pat Ganahl, um, too tall, too Ganahl. tall, Pat Ganahl. I think it was what, six, seven, six. Yeah. Somewhere was in there. Seven. Yeah, yeah, something like six, that. Six, tall guy. Yeah. Um, had, Street rod, he was synonymous with the street rod, rod, and, rod, custom. Right. rod and custom. He helped that book right. and, and Rodder's journal. Ronald's journal. <laughs> Hot rod and was was the editor right before briefly. me, briefly, briefly, right. and and um, started just the a, swimsuit issue. He was responsible for the swimsuit issue that I got all the credit right. for. Do you remember what he wanted to do after that? No, the no swimsuit issue. The no swimsuit <laughs> issue. <laughs> so Pat, wonderful, super guy. Very sharp, knew everybody. Super knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable guy. Excellent writer. And uh, it was Excellent at a writer. drag strip um, in Washington, Oregon, Washington. Some Washington State, driving his six cylinder dragster. Um, and um, we're not. It was a restored vintage. Yes. Vintage car. Yep. And something happened. I don't think it was mechanical. But we're not sure that it's still unclear. Yeah, I've, heard, yeah. I've heard other things. As of right now, much <clears throat> there's a couple of different versions. So yeah, that right. means but it's really knows. not important because no. the, the the critical thing was we've lost Pat. Right. Yeah. So um, it's it's very sad because this has been a rough year. We've lost Ed Taylor. We've I've lost, lost 18 people in my life this year. 18. Really? Oh Eight, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's been wow. horrific, including the general contact tractor on my bathroom the other day. Your bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, so it's, it's been a rough dropping. year. It's been a very rough year. It really sad. And, and we don't want to just let this right. slide without acknowledging <laughs> yeah. those men. Our condolences to the and families and yes, friends. Seriously. Absolutely. And, yeah, and we just want to say, you know, they were, they were wonderful influences in our life. And, um, you know, it's important to make that statement and say, yeah. you made a contribution. You made an, you made an impact on people's lives far probably far greater than any of us realize, right. you know, that they did. I, I think that they that's, did. that's true with all of us, I think, yeah. but, but especially with journalists, because our voice and our words get out to people around, around the world. Right. And, and, you know, we tend to treat it as a job and, and it, it, it that's cause that's what it is, right. but it, it, it does have impact. And, and, and especially with Pat, because it was so broad reaching and he knew so many people, it's, it's very, very sad. Yeah. So we and just want to, Steve, wanna, too. Steve and amazing. Steve too. Yes, Steve absolutely. Amazing, I'm sure. Uh, right. There are so many people who miss him that, uh, you know, never got to, never really tough. got to talk to tough. him, but they know him very much from his work. Yeah. So there's no question. So we just want to acknowledge that and, uh, and let you know about it, too.